Hi everybody. Uh, today we're gonna discuss about those building. Uh, we're gonna make some uh, some advice about uh, those uh, building uh, those uh, uh, according to the nature that we live in today. As we know, uh, we always talk about that. Uh, uh, this life we live in today is a temporary life, uh, which is that people call in life. But that the eternity life is hiding in Jesus Christ, uh, our Savior. That man, uh, according to John chapter 5, verse 29, everybody have to die. That means we're talking about the flesh. Uh, at the same time, Jesus died for everybody have to be resurrected. If you uh, obey God, you follow, that means uh, what uh, God teaching Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ teach those two apostles. Then uh, God have another body for you according... Uh, uh, uh to your obedience so okay let's talk about a uh, uh, nature that we live in today especially in uh, canada right if you that put the god put the law of the nature let's say it's cold right now right? if we went outside like, let's say with the short pants you know as a t-shirt what will happen to you you will get sick Okay, let's talk about that. You see those three? Those three, God created those three for us to breathe, to have a, a, a good nature of life. So, since we don't, we, we go over those three, that means uh, we can't have a good nature of life anymore. Are you with me? Okay, so those people who live in uh, on those uh, buildings like that, it's more easy for them to get sick than people who live in the house. Are you there? Why? Because uh, when the breeze, when it's windy, so you breathe that windy from the tree, you live better. That's why it's more, it's, it's more important when you have uh, a tree in your house, that means you sit down at your, at your backyard, you know, you joy that mean uh, the, the the life the nature of life that god put in front of you those buildings look at this those people who living up there so those the breeze the the, the windy when it's windy that mean the, the, the brief that mean of the tree they, they, they don't they don't have it that's why they get sick easily that's why it's easy for them to get sick people who living in the and the house they live better than put than those people who living up there because what they breathe yeah they cannot breathe better than, than people who is living in the house that's why today my advice to you uh, is that because uh, all those that make better if you want to be living healthy the house is better than that you know because of the tree if the tree is the same high at the, at those, at, at the same building it's good but if you over, if you go, you live, if you live over the tree, that means what? What are you gonna breathe? You're not, you're not gonna breathe at the tree. That means the nature of the brief uh, of the tree, who can give you a life that to live better, to live longer. So, my even though this life is a is a temporary life, but uh, we have to take care of that, you know, uh, to live longer. God give the, us that life since he brief uh, he put uh, he, he blow on the nose of uh, he blows on the nose of the human being to put a brief of life so uh, God uh, on Genesis chapter 6 verse 3 is uh, that is mentioned that before human being used to live uh, 900 906 960 950 years but because human being uh, uh, become a sinner day by day what he said so my spirit not gonna save on human being uh, uh, forever so now he he limit us he limit us he say okay more the, the more more years you can live is only only 120 years that's why when we turn 60 65 that mean uh, we 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 feel we are on the way to go but on the way to go you, some, there is something you have to remember. 
the this life we live in this, today is it as a temporary life so so that we have to remember we have on us something that will never die which is a uh, spirit of god the spirit of god is living on, on us that is substance uh, uh, that uh, that will never die. That's the one Jesus Christ came to save. Since you repent to Jesus Christ, that means uh, your soul uh, resurrected. That means it was die uh, uh, by the sin of Adam. So, according to the, according to obedience, that means uh, you get from the forgiveness you have from Jesus Christ. You came uh, and then take that flesh and then break it to the cross and then uh, to give uh, the main interior which is our soul uh, life again and uh, that's why according to second code chapter five uh, in order to i uh, mean uh, to ha get that life again uh, you have to be born again born again that mean uh, uh, your soul uh, uh, have to be born again your soul uh, that mean uh, was inactive uh, as this tree you see we see only as a when you look at this tree Jesus Christ on our life. That means our soul is die. That means it's not when the Bible says it's die, that means it's inactive. So all we have to think about, so when we repent to Jesus Christ, our life is become like that. You see those three? They have life on them. You see? So those three you see here, when they have lived like that. They resided. That means they were alive. That means they was inactive. They didn't have. They didn't show. That means they live on them. So they, when we live in according to the flesh, so the life of flesh is a sin. The, our flesh, according to John chapter six, verse 62, 63, say that means uh, our flesh can do nothing good. So God condemned that. He say you come in from dust, you going back to dust. No matter what, we all gonna go. But. Uh, when we go, do you want your soul to go and so far if however? If you don't want that, repent. Be prepared for your eternity life. Be prepared for that. So you know that means when you go, everything we have here, we're gonna go and love them. So when we go, what will happen? God have another body for us according to the second coach in chapter 5, verse 1. If we, we obey God, obey God all, according to the teaching that uh, he teach those 12 apostles. This is how we're going to get that life. So, my advice to you, my brother, my sister, in Jesus Christ, I would like to see you again. We will like, we will like to meet, I would like to meet you again. When I go forever, when will you go forever? So, let's follow Jesus Christ together. How are we gonna follow Him? We have to follow Him according to the teaching that He teaches those to our apostles. Otherwise, our belief will be in vain. It's all about you. It's all about you. The Spirit of God is living on you. That make you move. You can go anywhere you want. The only thing you have to do, follow Jesus Christ uh, according to the teaching that he, he teach those who are apostles, according to the message he gave them, uh, uh, according to John chapter 17, verse 20. May the peace of the Lord be with you. May God bless you. I'm happy as a fact that uh, God uh, make it possible uh, at this moment uh, to share uh, this uh, word with you. Remember, the word of God, uh, according to John chapter 1, uh, verse 1 to 4. The word, uh, at the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. God didn't make anything uh, without passing by, by the word. So, may the peace of the Lord be with you. Take care. Bye-bye.